Let's talk about the Dispace Chris layout configuration tool. So let's start adding some additional information uh, to my profile. Let's say that I want to have also information about my personal website. So I want to specify, for example, my LinkedIn profile. And I want to say that I'm working and I'm interested in software and Java and display open access, etc. etc. And maybe I also want to apply for some classification. Say that I'm working in engineering and technologies and I also want to provide my resume, my CV. So let's save all this information. As you see, there is uh, a new tab that appears that is named uh, Holder and where some of the information that I have entered are displayed. So you can check my affiliation. But as you can see, not all the information that I provided are visualized in my profile right now. This is due to the fact that the current layout does not include this information. So let's fix that. Let's go back to our administrator. As anticipated, the administrator is able to modify the layout of the space crease without making code changes or change to external configuration file directly on the server. So what is needed is to retrieve the current configuration of the layout. So I need to get out from the system the current layout configuration and I can use this process to retrieve this configuration. The process complete and an Excel file representing my current configuration is generated. Let's download uh, this file and let's open it. The size of the Excel file should not worry you because the structure is quite intuitive and also extensive documentation is available to explain the different purpose of each column and each sheet in our index file. Let's start with a very basic example. We want to modify the out for the person entity and we are interested in including in the very leading page of the entity the research interest and the attachment or the B stream attached to this entity because we want to expose my resume, my CV. So we see that the data are structured in different sections, name and tab and the tab name details is the leading tab. So, if the table is always present in the subsection of the person profile. So, let's look to which box are included in this tab. In the tab detail, we have two boxes, a hidden one and a name card one. In the box 2 metadata, we will see which metadata, which information are included in each section of this tab. So the hidden tab is just a big name that appear in the person profile. What we're interested in is in the same, is in the name card that include the B stream with the personal picture, just the personal picture and a list of other metadata. There are much more than what we see. 
because none of these metadata are included in our data. So this does not appear in the public page, but we want to have the research interest just below the personal picture. So let's insert a new row and we need to insert our metadata. So let's copy this and say, this metadata need to stay in the same cell. Think about the same empty page as a grid system. And we're saying that the first row of this grid is filled with the name to the C title. The second row contains on the left, the personal picture and on the right, a list of metadata, but still on the left, Below the personal picture, we want to expose a specific metadata that is the CDC subject. And we don't want to put any label before this metadata, but we want to have this metadata rendered as a A tag that has a A tag. Other than that, we need to fix some layout. We want to be sure that the tag will go below the picture. So let's say that the values of the pictures itself should be completely the self. So we're using the grid system from Bootstrap. So let's say that it's called 12. And we also want to make another change to include below the last metadata in a new row of the name card. We want to include all the attachment. So let's copy this row and we want to include all the B string. This is in two row three. But we want to include all the B string except the one that was already used for the personal picture. So make this selector a negative one. And this is done just putting prefixing, prefixing it with the exclamation mark. And to rendering is not a thumbnail, but we want to have a rendering as an advanced attachment. So we want to be able to see some information about this file to have to link to the rod, etc. Now go back to the administrative interface of this space crease and use a process to, lo to load back the new configuration in the system. So we will provide the updated file. Now it's uh, charging and now it's completed. So let's look to the output and everything was successful. So the newly layout has been applied to our repository. So let's visit again the DSpace 8 researcher profile. The applied changes work as expected. Tags appear under the thumbnail of our personal picture to represent our research. Interests and attachments are listed below in the page. This is just an example that show you how easy it is to update the layout of the space crease without the need to develop, to write any code, not to the rest and not to the angular part. You can rearrange the information as you wish. You can introduce additional information to describe your object 